The problem? A vast array of news organizations, print, radio, TV, generating coverage of the Middle East, all too often inaccurate, unbalanced, and lacking essential context. The solution? A professional organization monitoring the media, researching the facts, and devoted to accurate reporting of the Arab-Israeli conflict. CAMERA's mission is to promote accurate, balanced, and complete media coverage of Israel and the Middle East. We're on the front lines of defending the truth about Israel. We know that facts matter, words matter, images matter. Taken together, they shape what people come to believe and feel about the realities in the Middle East, and ultimately, public perception shapes government policy. Whether it's the real terms of the roadmap, the role of incitement in Palestinian violence, the truth about water rights, the nature of Israel's security fence, or the actual provisions of UN Resolution 242, CAMERA has been right there since 1982, exposing errors, omissions, and unbalanced reporting, and getting results. CAMERA is one of the few organizations in the United States that challenges misstatements of fact in the mainstream media and challenges the bias in the mainstream media. CAMERA is probably the most thorough, determined organization making sure the press is responsible. There's no other organization that I know in the United States that does quite the job that they do. The one thing that can bring journalists up short is the fear that they will be exposed publicly and held up to ridicule or contempt or criticism for work that is demonstrably wrong. Resolution 242 is the foundation stone of Middle East peacemaking. On three occasions in the summer of 2000 during the Camp David negotiations, the New York Times got it wrong, claiming that Israel was required to withdraw back to the pre-67 lines. Each time, we contacted the paper and we got them to issue a detailed correction. After the third time, the executive editor of the paper, Joseph Lelyveld, called the staff together and he asked them why they keep on making the same mistake and why can't we get it right. Since then, the Times has not made that error. The Times sets the agenda for all major media in this country and a lot of the minor media as well. When they get it right, the rest of the media is more likely to get it right and the whole country, therefore, is more likely to understand that Israel is not required to make a complete withdrawal. CAMERA relies on a highly professional staff who are in direct, continuous, behind-the-scenes communication with members of the media. From its base in Boston, and with satellite offices in New York, Washington, and Israel, CAMERA staffers monitor, fact-check, and research every conceivable topic, probe the historical record, consult with experts in Jerusalem or Washington, and prepare substantive analysis and counterpoint to false reporting. Reuters is a highly influential wire service internationally. It reaches millions of people around the world in articles, in newspapers, broadcasts, and online. Reuters had been consistently whitewashing and sanitizing the terrorist group Hamas. Hamas's publicly sworn goal is to annihilate the Jewish state. But Reuters was describing suicide bombings by the terrorist group as part of a campaign for independence in the West Bank and Gaza. Now this was clearly not true, and we set out to convince Reuters editors of that fact. We launched a letter writing campaign, we contacted Reuters global head of news, and we published articles criticizing Reuters' use of partisan terminology. It took months, but eventually Reuters did change the way it described Hamas. Hamas is now accurately said to be sworn to the destruction of the Jewish state, and suicide bombings are no longer described as part of an uprising for independence. The scope of CAMERA's efforts is truly impressive. A glance at its website demonstrates a massive undertaking, focusing on traditional print outlets, but also covering popular magazines and academic journals, network and cable TV news programs, websites, radio, and especially taxpayer-funded national public radio. 
National Public Radio is publicly supported and they are required under the law to show objectivity and balance in all coverage of controversial subjects including of course the Middle East. They don't live up to this. Our work has persuaded underwriters in Boston to cut back on their funding for NPR by over a million and a half dollars a year, a significant proportion of NPR's underwriting budget. Uh, we aim to have underwriters across the country reach the same conclusion that NPR does not deserve to be funded until they start covering Israel in a fair and objective way. NPR has consistently, consistently refused to make those kinds of corrections on matters of fact. And that, uh, that ultimately was what led to uh, my decision to, uh, to cease my funding. In addition to its highly trained professional staff, CAMERA relies on its rank and file membership, over 55,000 strong, to help in its core mission of promoting accuracy and fairness. What I love about CAMERA is it a, it's a grassroots organization. It is a bottom-up organization. It's the people. It's not a kind of top-down, trickle-down organization. And it's an organization, and this I can say categorically, that gets more bang for the buck than any other organization in the Jewish community and probably anywhere in the world. Cameron's National Letter Writing Group has members in 49 states and 13 countries. We regularly send to this group of activists email alerts that contain talking points and media contact information, making it really easy for them to give timely feedback to journalists. And they don't just write form letters. These are substantive, unique letters. And we don't just critique shoddy reporting. We also commend and publicize well-written reports that contain context. And it's a two-way street. We alert our members, but they also alert us when they see something unfair in textbooks, travel guides. And we'll research it and often send out an email alert as a result. And that's what makes CAMERA such an effective organization. We have activists all over the country working for us. On any given day, when you look in a newspaper or magazine and see an articulate letter that provides context about Israel, very often it's written by a camera member. I was dismayed to see in your March 24th editorial that you thought killing a known terrorist is a bad idea and that it will cause more violence. Michael Cahan, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. In regard to your April 16th editorial, while the Palestinian Authority publicly declares its commitment to a two-state solution, its envoys openly declare that Israel is only a transient state. David A. Kronfeld, New York, New York. The deaths of any civilians in war are tragic, but Susan Taylor Martin's report equates Arab casualties caused by terrorists who deliberately operate in civilian areas with the murder of Israeli children killed while riding the bus to school. That equation should be morally unacceptable to any serious observer. Bruce A. Epstein, Pinellas County, Florida. But cameras' sights extend far beyond ensuring the media's adherence to accuracy and truth. Camera educates the public to become better informed news consumers by running conferences, featuring noted scholars and journalists. Through its magazine, The Camera Media Report, its weblog, Snapshots, as well as through timely monographs, articles, and op-eds in key newspapers and magazines. Camera's activist campaigns include advertisements in major newspapers and magazines, educating millions on key subjects, appearances on national TV, as well as regular contact with government officials and agencies. Camera's demonstrated over the years a pattern of anti-Israel bias by NPR. In dealing with the committees that have congressional oversight, we stress NPR's violation of the Telecommunications Act requirement for objectivity and balance in news coverage. Cameras Washington office testified before the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's recent annual meeting at which we made this clear, the violations by NPR, and urged CPB to do what it's never done before. That is, monitor substantive complaints in a substantive manner and respond promptly. And this is a key to what we're doing. CAMERA is dedicated to continually improving the quality of information all Americans receive on the Middle East. CAMERA's Adopt a Library project aims to provide public libraries across the U.S. with solid, reliable information about Israel and the Middle East. Its educational initiatives are focused on students of all ages, 
including those on the university level. It's vital that we reach students because they are the future leaders and decision makers. Unfortunately, Israel's legitimacy is being questioned on college campuses today. And part of the problem is that the student media feels less accountability than the mainstream media. Therefore, CAMERA understands that students need specific help, and we provide that. CAMERA offers a student magazine called CAMERA on Campus, and it's distributed to students and colleges across North America. There is no other magazine like it. It provides students with the tools and information they need to counter even the most vitriolic anti-Israel rhetoric. CAMERA Fellows, initiated in fall 2004, is a series of intensive workshops aimed at building future community leaders. This has been an incredible opportunity and I would hope that um, anyone involved with CAMERA or its work would not underestimate uh, the importance of the CAMERA Fellows program and, uh, the, and how crucial it is for CAMERA to reach out to the next generation of leaders. The great challenge for people who care about accurate coverage of Israel and the Middle East is the reality that in America, in a democracy, there are no enforceable codes of conduct for journalists. There are only private appeals for accuracy, and where that fails, public exposure of error and bias. Our goal is institutional long-term change getting the correction, getting the headline change, the small fixes are all part of inducing long-term institutional change, greater accuracy, greater rigor in coverage. That's our goal. Support for CAMERA means support for the singular work we do, for the monitoring, the research, the professional intervention, and above all, for getting results. We're even approached by groups outside of America, especially in Europe, where media coverage of the Arab-Israeli conflict has been biased, even dangerously biased. And for these groups, we provide a model. Uh, we provide information, guidance, and encouragement in a very positive way. There's unfortunately no equivalent to camera in the United Kingdom. Um, and in my view, uh, such an organization in Britain would make an enormous difference. I think camera is indispensable, plays an indispensable role, particularly toward a time at a time, because you can't build peace on hate. You can't build peace on unanswered lies. And the crucial point is that camera keeps everybody honest. Words matter. Facts matter. And above all, Vigilance and action matter. CAMERA sends the unmistakable signal that accuracy is vital and that error and distortion will always be challenged. Always.